Your position as well, please. Doué uh, Nomandi est désiré, head of refereeing and football technology. What what do you hope to achieve by these kind of uh, seminars? The seminars we did uh, so far and the pre-competition seminar is to prepare the referees for the competition for the AFCON. So we have classroom session, theoretical session, when we are trying to emphasize on the uniformity and the consistency in the understanding, the interpretation and the application of the laws of the game. Then we have the practical training sessions when we are working on the tactical approach, how to hit the game, how to anticipate, how to control the penalty area, how to look for the angle of view. And we have also how to make a decision, how to use the considerations, how to use the football understanding to decide. And the last point, very important, is the game management and the players' management. How the personality you need to communicate, to do the prevention, to be proactive, to control the game. So all the courses and seminars we have been doing was to put the referees in those conditions and to make the selection, to have the best for the outcome. The use of VAR, do you feel that it has made life better for referees or worse? It's made life better for referees. Me, at my time, there was no VAR. But I can tell you, if I had this opportunity when I was a referee, I would have been very happy. Because all the football world are making comments after reviewing the situations two, three, four times in slow motion. How the referees, the one the most concerned, has no opportunity to see as just an impression and decide from an impression. So this VAR is coming not to destroy or to, to reduce the impact of the referee, but just there for critical situations like a parachute. And this is what we are telling the referees. Fight on the field as if there was no VAR. Then in an exceptional condition, the VAR can help you. Can tell you, good, but come and see. Look, this is what you said, this is what we have. And this is what this is not what we agreed together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so have mm -hmm. a and decide. Uh, and decide. One of the criticisms of VAR mm -hmm. is people say it takes too long. Mm -hmm. But if you add up the times the ball is out of play with free kicks, uh, with goal kicks, with throw-ins, and then check how much time has gone in the match, yeah. you probably get around 60 minutes of actual playing time. So, isn't the criticism of VAR in that context a little bit ridiculous? I will not be ridiculous, but it's not relevant because we have mm -hmm. clear statistics. We have clear statistics. How many V interventions do we have in a game? Very few. How many throw-ins? How many free kicks? If you look at the statistics, we have many more, more, more than uh, than uh, the time uh, lost in this in this uh, in this part of the play. Okay, so this uh, this is, is not relevant at all. What I meant was the criticism is. VAR interrupts the flow of the game, mm -hmm. and what I'm saying is the flow of the game is interrupted on a regular basis anyway. Already, exactly, exactly. And uh, some criticism says no, VAR is killing emotions. But VAR, mm -hmm. we have, we have, we have double emotion. Mm -hmm. Because then you score, for example, you celebrate, and you have mm -hmm. to wait. And if it's uh, confirmed, you celebrate again. So we double the, the number mm -hmm. of emotions. So you have more emotion with VAR. Mm -hmm. So all the, those criticism, we have also to weigh. What is the benefit? Mm -hmm and what is what we can say the weaknesses. So I think uh, if we do the balance, I think we have more benefit. Okay, than so now, I've attended a few AFCONs, yeah. and in many of them there has been very strong opposition and criticism of the refereeing, and to some extent VAR. That doesn't seem to be happening in this one, though. They seem to be getting the decisions right, and the VAR seems to be correcting, if it does, then it seems to be correcting correctly. No, we have been working a lot to, mm -hmm. to achieve this result. And we will we continue. We continue because uh, nothing is granted. By the day you stop training, you stop trying to improve, you start decreasing. So mm -hmm. we are glad that uh, our guys, our boys are doing well. But this is now for us another challenge. We need to continue in this way. And that is why we are working so hard every morning. We are working on the field of play, inside the, the, the VOR, okay, to fine tune, okay, to try to see where we can improve, to put our referees in the game conditions, 
to see the maximum of situation to be used to how to handle this and this and to find yeah. uniformity and consistency. Okay? So yeah. this is why we are And still lastly, working. from me anyway, um, do you think or would you like to be able to explain the, the decisions as a referee to the crowd so they understand exactly why you've reached the decision you did. Yes, this is the, 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 the next step, the announcement. And it's already in trial in FIFA because you can see this in FIFA competitions, mm -hmm. but it's still under the, the, the under trial. It's not yet official. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you want to do we need to have the permission. Mm -hmm. Okay. We try and this is our next step. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. we try this prepare our referees with this for the next competitions and uh, if it's uh, official with FIFA we will do if not we will ask for the permission but okay, this so helps also okay, so sometimes. How would, you rate, how would you rate African referees with your colleagues in Europe right now? No, you know we are not proceeding like this but what we can tell you is that we are referring really at the standard okay the world standard referring okay, okay. because you can see how the referees are controlling the game, how the referees are making decisions, how they use their personality to control. You don't have too much process, pro uh, protest, and uh, because the referees are there, they are making decisions and also they are controlling the game. How they manage the players, how they manage the game. We have worked a lot on these areas where we, we could find some weakness, and we have been working, and we are happy that uh, the result is. Uh, is satisfactory, but we will continue to work on, are, are on those there, areas. Are there specific um, training or deliberate training that you guys undergo that's different from any other tournaments in this particular app? Uh, in this, when the tournament starts, mm -hmm. this was in the preparation because we identified our weaknesses from all the games, eh? for the CCCL games, for all the games, and we deliver specific training. Okay. For example, the, the, the tactical match preparation, for example, the, the, the match control. Okay, we work on this, we put an emphasis on VAR, and when we start the competition, we are looking and we're analyzing the games, and we see uh, what is not working well from what we prepare. And we drill the exercise the day after on the field of play for our referees to be more comfortable. For example, today we drill, we focus on the control of the penalty area mm. because we have noticed that sometimes our referee was delaying a bit in the axe. Mm -hmm. Sometimes interfering with play or, or not in the perfect condition to see the next step. So we train today for them to escape quickly. Okay, and you can see the pass targeting the referee. The referee to escape and to come back in position or to escape already ready to pass through inside the penalty area. So this is how we find tune regarding what we see, okay? And this is how we are handling it. Okay. How would you describe the collaboration between officiating team members and um, football teams um, on field? I think, field? I don't know, I think uh, for now, I think we are happy. Because, uh, you know, for every tournament, before we have the team arrival meeting, mm. where the referee department sent an instructor to discuss with the teams to say this is our expectations this is what we are uh, we are hoping from you for the good of the competition because we are there to help you and i think this was well handled and the message was really well understood okay because we for example said mobbing uh, confronting the referee this should stop and i think so far the referee are doing well yeah the referee have also been instructed not to allow this and we can see that the teams and the benches in general the relationship is good. So are there concerns from the, the um, group stage that has just been concluded? Are there concerns that you would think that FIFA should um, look into going into the next phase now? You know, I think uh, we will prepare the next phase uh, more stronger than the first one. Okay, uh, We are good. Uh, the first uh, phase went uh, well overall. We are already in the process for the next one. We will continue to work hard. In your own opinion, what makes a great referee? On field. On field? A great referee? Mm -hmm. Personality? Football understanding. Your name once again, and where are you from? Doué Noumandiez Désiré. Doué okay. Noumandiez Désiré. And what's your position? I'm head of refereeing and football technology. Okay. Thank you so where much. Where are you from, please? Thank you. Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire. Yes, okay. I'm from Côte d'Ivoire. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.